वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड नाउन्स वी नो नाउ हाउ विच वर्ड्स कैन बिलोंग टू द नाउन कैटेगरी इन ट्रेडिशनल और इन मॉडर्न इंग्लिश ग्रामर नाउ देर आर टाइप्स ऑफ नाउन दैट वी ऑल्सो हैव टू स्टडी दैट मीन्स नाउन दिस इज अ कैटेगरी इट हैज गॉट मेनी टाइप्स विच टाइप ऑफ नाउन Uh, which type of word belongs to which type of uh, this noun category that we have to identify appropriately correctly so what we see here there are five types of noun that we can find in english first we consider it as common noun the common noun is that noun where there are no specific word given but still we identify them i a certain kind of a thing commonly commonly placed not particularly placed no commonly given not particularly given so we see pan this is just a general category man woman child etc then animal we consider those four legged creatures as animal this it belongs to common noun then bird this bird is also just a common kind of a one we cannot specifically say which bird is that so that means it becomes common again city river hill these are the common nouns commonly named without any specific uh, reference given to that particular category now again there is another type of noun which whom we whom we call as proper nouns and here we identify that category by name by name then the name that we actually call that particular category as man sachin now animal cow cow is a proper noun crow this is a bird but it is a proper noun we again identify this bird as crow and city place we identify it as niagara nanded mumbai london so these are the names properly given to that particular thing ata marathi bhashet bolaycha jale ta paanyat dilela naav barsa kelela naav asa tela manava lagel tya category la proper noun asa mantha english madhe then another category is collective noun collective there we get a color, reference of collection kai tari group ahet collection ahe asa ja velela aplyala tya nama madun artha bodh varil tya velela tya nama chi category collective noun asa aplyala grahit dharaycha ahe so what we see a group in group there are many things but it is a noun and so we identify that noun as group army in army there are many persons involved many soldiers involved so we consider this group or this particular word as since it is a collection it is a collective noun again government it may be singular or plural just like in maharashtra nowadays but it is a government many persons are involved in this system and so therefore this noun becomes a collective noun again there is another category we find it as material noun material as the name suggest gives us some feeling of material what kind of material we can actually touch that paper this is a material noun ink there is some kind of a material involved in making of this particular word so we consider it as material noun wood lakwood lakwood that is again a material lokhand iron all that type of uh, material feelings and we we find them then we consider them as the material noun finally it's just a bit difficult to identify these nouns we consider as abstract abstract in the sense we cannot see them but still we feel them these are the feelings associated nouns we consider these such this type of words as abstract nouns so childhood childhood this is an abstract noun poverty हे दिसत नाही पण आपल्याला जाणवतं चाइल्डहूड दिसत नाही लहान लेकरं दिसतात पण चाइल्डहूड नावाचा एक पर्टिक्युलर पेपर असल्यासारखं हे असं दिसत नाही बट स्टील वी कन्सिडर इट ॲज अ नाऊन चाइल्डहूड पॉवर्टी जॉय आनंद आनंद झालेला दिसतो पण आनंद नावाचं पर्टिक्युलर पेपर इंक असं मॅन ॲनिमल याच्यासारखं दिसत नाही त्यामुळे ते ॲबस्ट्रॅक्ट आहेत डोळ्याला न दिसणार आहेत पण फिलिंग्ज आहेत सो वी कन्सिडर दॅट टाईप ऑफ नाऊन्स ॲज ॲबस्ट्रॅक्ट नाऊन्स so these are the categories of nouns which you are supposed to identify if i give you one single sentence or a few nouns then you have to categorize them separately along with that these types we also have a few other type of classifications in nouns such as 
countable and uncountable countable nouns uncountable nouns countable nouns are those nouns which we can actually count paper we can count the paper pen we can count the pen one pen two pen single pen many pens these are nouns become countable nouns there are certain uh, nouns which we cannot count by uh, by the things if we take them by the things we cannot count them just like sugar can we count that sugar grains we cannot count sugar milk these types of material nouns we cannot count so we place them in this category as uncountable nouns there are categories specification specified in nouns differently in different manner what we have to identify what you have to be serious about is the identification proper identification of the nouns in the given sentences or the given words whatever they ask in the university in the examination so how to identify that is the question if you remember the basic concept behind these types of nouns specification then it becomes easier for you even to identify and score marks 